Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech DSU side loader application is a great innovation in the world of android third party development thanks to developer Vega Bu and his team for bringing such amazing application who already created some videos there we shown how you can boot any custom gsi using root method and in another video we shown tutorial how you can flash any custom gsi without root using the adb method on pc you can check them out using the links of all videos given under the video description. But today we came with another method to dual boot any custom GSI on any Android phone without need of root access and without need of PC and any types of CMD commands. It's just a plug and play method using wireless ADB using the Shizuku without root. Today we will show you full quick tutorial how to set up wireless ADB for Shizuku and how you can boot any custom GSI using live demonstration of booting in MQUI UI on my OnePlus 9RT. Before proceeding, your device must be on Android 10 and higher versions. Your device must suppose the dynamic system partition, its bootloader must be unlocked. Please watch this video till the end without skipping because if single step missing, this will not work properly. And at the end of video, I also shown one issue related to the Shizuku activation. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure Here you can see I am using the latest DSO sideloader application version 2.0.3. You can check out the full review of this new app version. Its video link is given under the video description. If you check the gear icon setting of application here it's showing its operational mode as ADB without root. So to install any GSI I need one PC to run the ADB commands which will bring installation of GSI without root. But now we will not use any PC or any commands. Just download this Shizuku application, its link is given under the video description. Open the application. Before using the app, we need the developer option enabled in your phone. To enable that, go to the about phone, there search for build number. Now tap 8 times on your build number, this will enable the developer setting. In the developer setting, search for wireless debugging. Enable that, you will get the prompt to allow wireless debugging on this network. Check marks the box and tap on allow button. Now go to the Shizuku application, here you get the three different instructions to activate the Shizuku application. But today we will see only wireless debugging method. Tap on the pairing option, now give the notification permission to application. In the notification panel, now you get the one notification of searching for pairing service. But for now we can't able to tap on it, it's not accessible. Now again go to the wireless debugging setting of the developer setting, confirm the wireless debugging toggle is on. There tap on the last option that is pair device with the pairing code. Who gets the one code on the screen at the same time who gets the Shizuku pairing notification in the notification panel. Tap Shizuku pairing notification there type the same code that you got previously. Tap on the arrow key and you get the pairing successful notification. Now go back to the Shizuku application there tap on the start button. App will again show us the prompt to enable the wireless debugging in the developer setting. Just follow the instruction, tap on developer option. Though here toggle was already enabled, toggle it off and on one more time and swipe back you will see some commands are running on the Shizuku with the prompt to allow the Shizuku to access the DSU sideloader. Tap allow and that's it. You will see in the Shizuku application at the top it's showing the Shizuku is running successfully. Below that you get the option for authorized application for Shizuku. There keep the toggle on for DSU sideloader access. Now if you open the DSU sideloader application, here if you check the gear icon setting, it's showing the operation mode as Shizuku. That's it, 70% of job has been done. Now let's check out how to install the new GSI using the Shizuku operation mode. First download any GSI you want, please download the correct GSI as per your device architecture. You can refer our first video how you can choose correct GSI using table check application. Here I try to boot something different called as the MQUI UI Android 13 custom GSI. Now first remove any screen lock or password if it was there on your phone. It just for first time installation of GSI later you can apply it back again. Now go to the DSU application there tap on select file option locate your GSI. Set user data as per your need. Now tap on install you will get the prompt for installation accepted by tapping proceed. 
you will see the installation of new JSA got started. Here we did not need any kind of PC commands to run as we did for the non root adb method did for last video. Once installation gets completed, who gets the installation successful notification. In the notification panel, who gets the discard or restart option. Tap on restart to boot your newly installed JSA and finally our new Miku UI started to boot. It has something different boot animation and user interface. Today I will not review the ROM but if you want a full review of this ROM please message in the comment section as much as possible. I will install the latest build of this ROM with the new video. Once phone booted to the new Miku UI it has really something different look. It's an Android 13 base ROM but I installed the old version of ROM for just testing which has December security patches. We will see if we can boot back to our original stock ROM once we tap in the restart option from the DSU notification from the notification panel. It started to boot back to my primary ROM that is LineageOS. Now comes the most important part that is the Suzuki activation issue. After every reboot Suzuki access got disabled. So if you check the DSU application after reboot it will show us the operation mode as ADB again instead of Suzuki. If you open the Suzuki application, there is also it showing the Suzuki is not running. But it will not affect the working of currently installed ROM. It will boot normally if you try to boot again into the JSI. To solve this, go to the Suzuki application, then tap on install and repeat the same wireless debugging toggle setting as you shown previously. Suzuki will work again. We will get the operation mode as Suzuki in the DS Suicide Loader application. If you want to install another JSI, just tap on the discard button for the notification available under the notification panel and repeat the installation process for another JSI as we shown previously. So we tried to boot back to the Miku UI once again and it's booted successfully. So this non-root Suzuki method seems working perfectly without any issues. It's the most convenient process to boot any JSI on your non-rooted device without need of any PC commands. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.